In this video, we're going to talk about Canva styles. This is a really cool way, a really quick way to see different fonts and colors on your t-shirt designs just with one click. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and my channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I wanted to share something with you that I found recently on Canva. Now this is something that could help you a lot, especially if you're a new designer and you wanna see different styles kind of changing up your designs rapidly so you can pick which one is the best one. This is called Styles in Canva. And with one click, you can change different fonts, you can change your colors, you can change all of them at the same time and figure out which version looks the best to you. So I'm gonna show you in Canva, and this is for Canva Pro as well as the free version of Canva, where you can just change these things up. I'm gonna do a t-shirt template, use that on Canva so that you can see everything in Canva and just show you how easy it is to change it up, change up the colors and change up the fonts and things like that. So it will show you different versions really quickly and you can decide, yes, I like this one, no, I don't like this one and you know, come up with so many different versions of the same design and then pick which one you want. So this is really cool. I love that they do this. I'm gonna show you how to use it and how easy it is to do and show you the different styles and colors and fonts that they have preloaded. You can make your own as well, but these are the preloaded ones and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's get into Canva right now. So here we are on Canva, just canva.com. You can see I'm using the free version right there. I'm gonna create a design to start off. I like to use custom size. I can type in the design, but I already have these preloaded. This is the Merch by Amazon size, 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. It works for a lot of the print on demand sites, especially for t-shirts. So let's click on there. And the first thing I wanna show you, well, you see that the artboard is already made here. The first thing I wanna show you are templates. So. If you didn't know this, there are t-shirt templates. If you just type in t-shirts, they have lots of different t-shirt templates right here. Some of them are good, some of them are just okay. Um, but you have you can scroll through them. They have a lot of preloaded ones right here. What I would say is to use this as a starting base because you know anybody can take these and just put it on a t-shirt. So you wanna take these as like a base and then add to it so that yours is different than somebody else's, right? So. Let's do one for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna type in Valentine's Day t-shirt since that's coming up. Uh, day t-shirt. And you can see a lot of preloaded ones. A lot of them are free too. So this one's pretty cool, cutie pie. Um, I'm gonna do one just so you can see the different fonts. I'm gonna look for one that has two different fonts. And this one right here, I'm gonna click on it and you can see we make a great pair. I'm gonna put some hearts on there as well. So let's see if I just do hearts and elements, just so it's different, like I said. So I'm gonna take some free hearts here. No. Now I'm doing this really quickly. Uh, you might wanna take some time and get some good, good hearts and stuff on here. So I need to look for stuff that's free as well. All right, let's just say that there's some hearts like that. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put one more here. Sorry, just to balance it out. Now you can see this is, this is different than what we started with. Now, if we wanna make this different, you can see it's on a white shirt with you know black and red and stuff. Now that's great color. Um, I would save this one and then try out their styles. Now the way to find styles is to go right here, styles, and you can try out all these different things. Now this is really cool because it will give you certain colors and matching fonts. So in this case, this is the trending styles. You can do like right here, it says OVO now and these colors. Watch what happens when we click on it. It just changes everything to those that color palette. You can shuffle again and use the same color palette and it will change the fonts too. So this one right here is that oval and this one is now. Now you can do this with all of these. So if you wanna try this one, 
Look at that. Now, all of them aren't going to be winners for t-shirts, but, you know, you can try it out. Like, that's a different color. You can hit it again. That's a different color. Isn't that cool? Now, if you didn't want to change the colors, if you like the red and black fonts, um, you could just change the fonts or you could just change the color. So let me show you right here. This is all, this is kind of all together. Let me do one more. Isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Um, so let's just do colors right here. So this will just change the colors and not the font. So let's say we want to, we like the font, but we want to just change the colors. Isn't that cool? You can just keep going and going until you find something that's kind of more like a vintage color look. That's really cool. Um, if you want to find one that's red, you can come on here and look for something that's red or something like that. If you know what color you want, vintage colors or whatever, you know, or you could hit this one until it does something red or something like that. The next thing you could do is just font. So let's say you found the right color. You go here and click fonts. Now you can try out different fonts. Look at that. I would suggest for t-shirt design to look for something thicker like this. This one's a, a little thicker, easier to read. You can go down here, a little thicker, easier to read, right? Um, but some of them are, are cool, like the handwritten fonts that we saw. Those are really cool too. So just wanted to show you that. Now you can do it with anything except it only colors, we, we picked these right here because they're graphics. It won't color photos. So if you came over here and you did elements and you did like photos, like let's see, um, here, this is a photo right here, right? If you did, if you went back here to styles and we went back to colors, you'll notice it's not gonna change that gold right there. It's only gonna change the elements that you can go in here and color. So if we did this and you see the colors here, then that's what it's gonna change. If you did this and it's edit image and not have the colors, then those aren't gonna change the colors for you. But still pretty cool, especially if you're gonna use their graphics and it can be with any graphics that have it. So if you went into elements and you went into graphics and you you know, did one of these, this one's free. You can see it's colored. So let's see it change the color now when we go to your styles, right? It changed it. So make sure that you're using things that you can color in Canva. But other than that, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, especially if you don't know what color to color things. Uh, for Valentine's Day, it's pretty easy, red and black and white. But for other things, you may wanna try uh, different colors, right? So have fun with this one. This is great for posters as well. So if you're doing like posters for a red bubble and you wanna try and do a nice poster, which they have templates for posters as well, this would be really cool to, to change up the colors and see what, what's good. So that is Styles, pretty quick video. Didn't know if you knew it was here, but I thought it was really cool. You can create your own styles, I alluded to that. But when you click here, this is what happens. It's for pro only. So um, here it says upgrade to add palette. So upgrade to pro um, and fonts and things like that. So this is a brand kit um, for pro users, but I think there's enough styles and enough colors here that uh, you can have fun with and with the free version so have fun with that um, this is really cool I, I when i first found it i'm like wow what does this look like and this look like and i'm sure if you haven't tried this before you want to go and try all of these look how many styles there are so it's, it's so fun to do so um, just wanted to share that with you and it can really help brand new designers that aren't sure what color things should should be especially if you, you didn't get it from the t-shirt kit right like i picked one here from templates and did a t-shirt template which will come with nice colors but if you're just building stuff randomly and grabbing stuff and putting things together without the kit um, you may want to have that cohesive color together that brand color to make it look all like it matches right because sometimes you pick elements that are from different styles and different colors you kind of want them to match and that's uh, what styles will ha help with. So have fun with this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've used styles before and how, how you liked it. And hopefully this helps you get the best out of Canva and get you some sales while making designs for print on demand.
So that is it for this video. Pretty quick video. Just wanted to let you know about styles in Canva. It's something that I found recently and it's pretty cool. I think I spent a lot of time just clicking that button to see the different styles. Before I leave, I wanted to ask you a question of the day and it's for those people that have tried these styles. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite style? Have you found one? If you used Canva before, let me know your favorite style in there. What's your favorite combo of colors and fonts? It'd be fun to know that. Uh, leave that in the comments below. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you wanna see more videos like these about Canva, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.